Hey, I just passed the Microsoft AZ203 exam, the one for developers, and just want to share my thoughts about it. I took the AZ301, the architecture exam, the week prior, and a lot of that knowledge helped transfer over to the 203 as well, but the distinguishing factor was having some um, understanding of the AZ CLI and the PowerShell and, and the SDK for C Sharp and .NET. So um, they would have some scripts and fill in the blanks um, for like what, what function goes here or what command goes here in the script and having some practice with um, what the uh, Azure um, syntax for those uh, various uh, toolkits is um, was helpful. And um, one way I practiced uh, for both the AZ301 and the 203 was by taking the microsoft.com forward slash learn um, paths for developers. Um, and then I also took the Linux Academy course for the 203 as well as on Udemy. Let's see here. I took the top two courses on Udemy for the 203, the one by Scott Duffy and also um, I think by perhaps by Nick Collier. Um, if he doesn't have one for 203, I definitely took his uh, 301 as well, but um, there was a lot of overlap between those two um, exams. So uh, both the Scott Duffy and the Nick Collier courses on, on Udemy were helpful in addition to the Linux Academy one. And on a very important one uh, for this exam was just uh, getting familiar with the syntax. And um, the Linux Academy flashcards were helpful for that, um, for sure. Um, and, and then just doing the Linux Academy labs, uh, for sure, to get the uh, hands-on experience. So those are my quick tips on preparation. And then uh, during the actual exam, it helped me to skim through each question of a case study, click through all the six questions or whatever, then go back, skim through all the pages of the case study and then start answering the questions. So I just get a really brief overview of uh, what I'm looking for. Uh, that helped me um, answer them much more efficiently than in past uh, Microsoft exams. Hope that helped.